CBC's Radio Canada has a new exclusive now. We've been talking a lot about a number of embattled senators engulfed in the spending and expense claim scandal. Well, now Radio Canada has uncorked a new controversy involving another liberal member of the Red Chamber, a former staffer to Colin Kenny, says she spent half her time managing her boss's personal business. So what task does she say she was required to do on the public dime, and what does Senator Kenny have to say? Radio Canada's Brigitte Bureau has been digging into this story. She's got exclusive details, all Senate all the time. Brigitte, what exactly have you found? Well, when Pascal Brisson started working for Senator Colin Kenny, she says she was quite startled because she arrived, she was handed this filing cabinet, but many of the files inside had nothing to do with Senate business. You had folders with all kinds of headings that said a condo a renovation, condo fees, dogs, for instance. And sure enough, one of her tasks, she says, was to pay uh, the senator's personal bills, hydro, uh, condo fees, and so forth, his visa. And she was doing this online, uh, accessing his his personal bank account. Uh, he was using, she said, his own money, but doing it on Senate time. Uh, and she was quite surprised. She didn't expect that. And we have a clip of her explaining to us other personal tasks she said she had to do for Senator Colin Kenny. I would say probably 50% of my day was spent doing personal tasks for him. Uh, so I had to book his personal training sessions, I had to pay uh, his cleaning lady, I had to pay also his dog walker and uh, give money to his son whenever he was out of town and his son needed to dog sit the two dogs at the condo. I was also responsible for booking uh, the handyman services at the senator's residence. Startling allegations. What does Colin Kenny have to say about the use of his assistant for his personal use? Well, he did give us a phone interview, and in that interview, he tells us that she did book a lot of these personal meetings, uh, whether they were appointments with his personal trainer, his doctor, and so forth. But he says that it, ha it didn't take half a day, not even close, he says. And for him, it's a scheduling issue. He believes that the person that's his assistant is the best place person to book all of these things because she knows what he has to do uh, work-related. Uh, but he also recognizes that she did other personal tasks, and we have a clip of him. She was going through my expenses uh, to, to, because I used the same credit card for Senate travel. And the purpose uh, was that, but... Uh, Yes, um, uh, uh, I'm sure she did pay some bills. Okay, she, so he admits something. Uh, there's another senator who got into trouble for having staff carry out non-Senate uh, business issues. Tell yeah. us about that case. Yeah, do, do you remember the name? It might ring a bell. Raymond Lavigne, yeah. ex-liberal senator. He's serving jail time, as a matter of fact, as we speak. He was convicted of fraud and breach of trust. Uh, he had one of his assistants go on his private property to cut trees during uh, his business hours, during Senate time. Uh, we have to mention, though, in his case, uh, Senator Laving was also claiming false expenses. So that right. was part of the conviction also. All right. Uh, th this is a, a new development. Okay, that's an exclusive story. By the way, uh, I've emailed Colin Kennan to see if he would come on to respond to your story. Mm -hmm. He said he's got a commitment tomorrow in Calgary and, quote, I would like some opportunity to reflect on your story. So we await a response now from Colin Kennan, even though he's responded mm -hmm. in your story. Thanks for that, Brigitte. Thank you, Evan.